We're on our way in and it is rough. This is a <laughs> real four wheel drive. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> the old freak, but she's performing. So apparently up the top there, there's like an infinity pool as well. So we can go check that out. Okay, that was the best. That was the best. best. Look where we are. The famous Gib River sign. Have a look. Oh yeah. That's official. It's official. We're on the Gib. Welcome back guys to another episode. Today we are tackling El Crestro Gorge. Yeah, so we just arrived at the station last night and spent the night. Uh, we were pretty knackered so we didn't yeah. do anything last really night. Really good station as well. Yeah, really, really nice, nice campground. And today we're off nice and early on a hike. Seems like one of the coolest yeah. hikes that we can do here. But and first, hardest. <laughs> first we have to tackle the hardest fall driving I have think look we've at ever it. done. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> The longest water crossing we've done yet. That looks so intimidating. A troopy just went through. Yeah, we just saw a troopy go through and he seemed to be all right. But, yeah. uh... but look how intimidating it looks. <laughs> it should be all right. Nothing for the troopy, mate. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we made it through the water crossing. Troopy's, Troopy's still alive. Um, this is the information board here. It's a four kilometer high. Oh no, 2.6. No, we're doing that. We're going all the way there. Oh, we're doing this one. But then on the other... Grade five. The other information I had said 6.8, so... Don't know. Don't know. But it looks interesting. At least it's not like 10, like we were thinking. You got to swim. Halfway, halfway pool, you got to swim across to get to the main gorge, so... And we don't have a wet pack for our backpacks. Yeah, so I guess I'm going in the water <laughs> I dropped the water bottle. Bloody clucks. And now we have no water for five kilometers. What a disaster. <laughs> but Maybe a, you can drink the spring. Yeah, we'll drink the water. <laughs> on another note, this place is like spectacular. So good. I always say it, <laughs> but it is. Well, at least we can just put this in the backpack. Yeah. What a disaster. <laughs> First obstacle, Megan. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. It looks alright. I'm nervous for the camera in this backpack, not for myself. Just don't fall over. <laughs> We're, uh, it looks easy. Hopefully. We're going in anyway. How is it, Megan? <laughs> is it nice? We're going in. Feet are wet. It's actually really nice, eh? Yeah. I would uh, fill our drink bottle up, but someone broke it. Didn't Why I? are you making it out like it was me? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's getting deeper. Oh, 
This is brilliant. Look how small Megan is. <laughs> You're gonna be able to put the bag up? Yeah. 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 Oh, your arm was slipping just saying. What's that? You made it, guys. Wow. Can you attack the camera, Megan? You! It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, that. Yeah. Um, this stick here <laughs> is the only thing holding up this boulder. How do you feel about that? Uh, very uneasy. I like that <laughs> How funny is that? Just a random stick is holding up this bowl. Obviously not. <laughs> this is um. This is the most this, fun hike. Yeah, this ever. is a real fun hike. Um, it's, it's definitely. Not like, it's not challenging as in like I'm puffed out and sweating, but you it's have, like yeah. you got to think. You got to think. Got to place your feet properly. Yeah. Um, it definitely got to climb some rocks so. It'd be hard to do by yourself if you're, uh, I don't know, a bit older it might be a bit hard, but to, if you've got two of yours you'll be fine. So yeah, I'd recommend two people. But yeah, this is Wicked eight. We made it guys, look at that paradox. Alrighty guys, that hike to El Cuestro Gorge That's is a must do. favourite that we've ever done in our entire life. That's like the best start ever to the Gibb River Road. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've come down to Zebedee? Zebedee. Zebedee uh, Springs or little pools there. There's like a few different pools. Yeah, apparently. I think it's a hot, hot springs as well. Yeah, open from 7 to 12 Yeah, PM. so we're here at about 11, so... Yeah, we're not perfect. sure why, but anyway, <laughs> we're going to go check that out and then head off to uh, El Cuestro Camp and set up there and relax for the rest of the day. We made it to our campsite safely over those uh, water crossings. Yeah. 
Um, there's a, literally a water crossing as you come straight into this caravan park. But totally worth it because the caravan park is mint. We had a big decision to make, so we're going to relax for the rest of the day, and then we're either going to go check out a sunset. Yeah, because there's, there's a few. You can go up a four-wheel drive, and there's a cool sunset location. Well, there's like three nearby. Yeah. So we're thinking, oh, that'd be cool, but then. I think we're going to be in for a few good sunsets. So, so I was like, we're going to the restaurant. We're taking advantage of the fact that we're somewhere nice and have yep. access to a restaurant. So they got an Angus beef burger. So yeah, I'm really craving I'm definitely a getting as well. that. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to relax for the rest of the day and we'll see you up there for a feed. Guys. We got the Wagyu beef burger, but hopefully it's not like a Lawn Hill chicken nugget. <laughs> if you've watched that video, you know all about it. So here's hoping. <laughs> Mate, look at this. That's a burger. Oh, charcoal buns. Oh yeah. Nice. Alrighty guys, we'll see you in the morning. We're gonna dig in. Good morning guys. We've made it to uh, Emma Gorge this morning. Mm -hmm. And we are just sussing out how long it is. 3.2 kilometers return. Grade four. Oh, is it? So it's a bit of a hard one again. I wonder how long it's going to take. They reckon two hours. Two hours return. Without swim. I don't think I'll be swimming this morning. No, it's it's a bit pretty cold. bloody cold, eh? Yep. Anyway, just thought we'd say good morning and uh, what? There's freshwater crocodiles in there. Freshwater qu cro quacks. Quacodiles. There's quacodiles in there. <laughs> Watch out for the crocodiles. Anyway, we'll see you there. Made it to Emma Gorge here, and the only way I think to show you what it looks like is go like this. Look at that, it is just massive. Hey, it's massive, guys. I can't believe it. And over there, there's a hot spring. See that water? I'll zoom in for you. See that water come out there? It's hot. We just, <laughs> we just met some other people that follow us along on YouTube, and they, um, I forgot their names, I'm sorry. But uh, they said go check out that water and it's actually hot. It's pretty hot. crazy, hey? But, and then uh, here it's freezing. Yeah, and then in there it's cold. <laughs> but yeah, just have a look at that. Alrighty guys, we made it. They're not lying when they say the Gibb River Road is rough. It is bumpy, but we're only 20, 30 minutes in, so we'll see if it gets better or worse. We're gonna, we're gonna find out anyway. But uh, we're gonna have some lunch now, and I just thought I'd show you. 
this hardcore gear that we got, it's uh, that's what we were picking up in the post office in Kananara. They sent us a, a pair of spotties and uh, a solar blanket, 150 watt. And first impressions so far, it's only been a few days, but I'm absolutely loving the solar blanket. It, uh, it just feels like quality. It comes with a whole bunch of stuff that makes it so user friendly. So I'm gonna put it to the test. But yeah, I just wanted to say first impressions, it bloody looks good. Alrighty guys, we, uh, we're pretty knackered, hey? Yeah. We both got headaches. I think it's because we didn't drink enough today. Yeah, I think 100%. definitely breaking the water bottle yeah. stuffed us. Yeah, me breaking the water bottle was not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're in the middle of nowhere when we can't buy one. We've got a camelback, but it's only, we went through it um, yeah, two straight liter camel away back. this morning at Emma Gorge. I think maybe once we'd hiked maybe one kilometer, that was it gone. Was all gone. So. so we stuffed up. But uh, just have a look at this bloody place, mate. It's just spectacular, eh? Yeah, it's beautiful. You could stay here for two weeks. Yeah, definitely. And then you've got the ranges over there. Oh, I'm the view is just see epic. see how that's going to look when the sun goes down. I reckon it's all going to be oh, amazing. It's been an epic sunset. Yeah. But uh, anyway, guys, we're going to enjoy our dinner and enjoy a sunset. And uh, we'll see you on next episode. Thanks for watching. See you later. I wouldn't bloody joke about that. It was a nightmare of a road. What a disaster. Mate, the troopy is copping a beating on this road. It's fun times, guys. <laughs> fun times. <laughs>